Dan O'Dowd doesn't like John Smaltz, a cinema of a Mets trade, and children racing as appliances. Welcome to Time Out with Tio, where I count down my five favorite moments in sports from the past week. And I'm your host, Tiff Oshinsky. Now, depending on what your favorite sport is, you had a very interesting week. In football, after Tom Brady's appeal was upheld, Patriots fans got to at least enjoy the start of training camp where things were really looking up. Baseball fans had a hell of a week, proving there is indeed crying in baseball. Basketball fans don't need to worry about Gilbert Arenas winning all their county fair prizes anymore. And hockey fans, well, step up your game. But let's step back to baseball real quick, because my fifth favorite moment of the week comes at the expense of Mets fans. And yes, I am one. So now I present to you a visual interpretation of the roller coaster ride Mets fans went on Wednesday night using emojis. Number four on my list happened at the end of an interview with newly inducted Hall of Famer John Smoltz. After Smoltz finished up a live interview on MLB Network, former Rockies GM Dan O'Dowd accidentally let slip his true feelings for Smoltz. For those of you who don't like cursing, earmuffs. I'm honored and uh, without Bobby Cox, none of this would be possible for me, for sure. Don't look Apparently, O'Dowd apologized when they came back from commercial. I imagine it to have gone something like this. All right, we apologize for that. We'll be, we'll be right back. We, uh... Golf, the one sport that shouldn't be hard because the ball doesn't move, but is utterly impossible. And like most people, we spend way too much time trying to figure out what is wrong with our swing and why we can't hit the ball that doesn't frickin' move. Which brings me to number three on my list. A guy bought a GoPro to film and later analyze his swing, and although I'm sure you know where this is going, it's still pretty funny to watch. Broken. Broke it. Huh? Broke it. Shattered. The only thing truly shattered is your dreams of ever learning how to be good at golf. Welcome to the club, buddy. We've all been there. This is how you be great. My second favorite moment is thanks to Paul Pierce. The Clippers recently acquired the forward this offseason, so as a welcome to Los Angeles gesture, the Dodgers let Pierce throw out the first pitch at Tuesday's game. Not great, Paul. The bounce pitch elicited boos from the crowd, but in Pierce's defense, it is tough to be awesome at another professional sport. Show him, Odell. And my number one moment from this past week comes from the race of all races. The West Michigan Whitecaps of the minor leagues held a spectacular promotional race where kids had to wear appliance costumes. Yes, appliances like washing machine, stove range, and water heater appliances. And race to a thermostat and back. It was everything dreams are made of. And the market said go, and they're out. DTE Energy Oil. Oh! Down goes the range. He's back up. Oh, down goes the dryer. This way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a play. Oh, and he was so close. <laughs> 
as the portable air conditioner, I clearly would have breezed past all of them. Those are my five favorite moments in sports from this past week. Did you see something better? Tweet me at Timo Love Sports with the hashtag TimeAtWithTio or like me on Facebook and tell me about it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more silly moments in sports. Just click this button. Until next week.